560 days after closing off our country from the world, the Prime Minister has announced plans to resume international travel next month. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. Welcome to this first video and to the first instalment of the countdown to our trip. We decided that we would pack up our house, holiday let it and book a one way ticket to um, overseas. Um, the number one questions that we've been asked is where are we going first and how long are we going for? Um, so throughout this video, I'm going to try and answer some of these questions and sort of introduce you to the family uh, and give you a bit of a sense of um, what we're doing and how we will be traveling around. So let's get started. We have five weeks to go. <laughs> and we are packing down the house. We holiday let it so that we can use that money to travel. And today's job is the garage, the study, and the linen cupboard. And I found my old wedding dress, but it's been better days. <laughs> I think I threw it in the washing machine after we got married that night. There's child one pretending to do schoolwork so she doesn't have to help. Who are you sending this to? It's a countdown. It's a, it's a five week countdown. There's <laughs> the other child pretending to study so he doesn't have to do any work. As you can see, he has a lot to pack up in his room. So that one was Olivia's um, well, whose wedding was that? Shani Chantel's. Chantel's. She was a flower girl. flower girl. And we're just going through all these old memory sort of boxes. And that was one of our trips we did. Morning, and we went hot air ballooning in Africa. And lots of memories in here. <laughs> oh, we can throw that out. <laughs> and the shoe. Jesus. Might not look like much progress. <laughs> There's still shit everywhere. But we have a van full. One of the things that we'll be doing when we're away is working with a variety of hotels um, and airlines. So I've done myself up a spreadsheet of the ones that I um, am contacting and then also sort of, you know, highlighting the ones which I've had a response from and how in which they want to work with us. Um, so we're waiting to hear back from a few more, um, which I'm following up on today and also an airline. So I'm really super excited to see what comes of that. Um, I'll just take you through my spreadsheet. So this is sort of, I guess, a little bit of, um, you know, how I'm working everything out. So we've got all our airfares there. Uh, and then we've got sort of, you know, tours, accommodation. Um, when we work with different places, we're hoping that we can cut these costs down so we can stay for a lot longer. Um, and then I've got the accommodation I've already booked. Um, and then there's a few in here as well, which I'm just waiting on our um, confirmation and also our contracts to come through for them. And then I'll show you this. This is uh, this is how I've been working out where we can go. So you'll see here, these are the countries are open to these countries here. Our first destination is going to be the Maldives. Um, and the reason for this is it's absolutely stunning, um, but it's also open to every single country. So it's super, um, one of the easier countries to get in. Uh, we just need to do the COVID test before we get there um, and do like COVID testing and things like that, do all those requirements. But um, other than that, we don't have to quarantine when we're there. Um, and the things that we want to do there, we want to go snorkeling with the whale sharks, the sharks, um, manta rays. We want to, um, Brett wants to go surfing. Um, yeah, it just looks really awesome. So we're really pumped about that. And then our second destination is Sri Lanka. Um, there's so much to do there. We're going to be doing safaris and all the beach stuff and snorkeling and the turtles and elephants and, and all of that sort of stuff and staying out in the jungle. So that's really, really cool. And then after that, we actually really don't know. Um, and we're just going to be playing it all by ear. At this stage, Thailand, Cambodia, um, Egypt, Turkey, there's a few countries that are open that we've been eyeing off that we wouldn't mind going to. 
We've done heaps of time in Thailand, but there's still places that we haven't been. So that's hot on the list. Um, and so is Cambodia. I've heard heaps of really good things about that. Um, ideally, I'd love to go to the Philippines or to Mexico. Um, and we were thinking about Europe, but it's um, going to be winter there. So at this stage, um, for the first like three months of the trip, that's off the cards. Um, and how long are we staying? We don't know. We'll just see how long we want to stay. We'll see what opens up. Um, obviously, if more countries don't start opening up, we might come back and then we might reset and go back away. Um, but if countries still continue to open up and we can continue to work away, um, then we will continue for as long as we feel like it. So the adventure begins now.